Yo, what's up guys, it's Suraj from Tech Devoted and a lot of the Android phones we see today run heavily skinned versions of Android. They don't look that great and don't offer a lot of customization. But I'm here to change that up. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can customize your phone with just a few apps. Now, obviously, customization is purely subjective. Some of you may like what I'm going to show you while others may totally hate it. So keep that in mind and let's jump right into it. Again, this is just the way I do it. You may or may not like it. Okay. Okay, so I'm now on my Android phone and as you can see my Android phone's home screen already looks pretty neat. That's because I'm running stock Android but it still looks like it's missing something and it doesn't really look that unique. It's the average home screen that every Jack and Tom has so I'm going to change that up. So the first thing I do when I'm customizing my Android or when I get a new Android and I want to customize it uh, is add or use a third party launcher. My personal favorite is the Nova launcher. You may ask why use a launcher? Well, launchers offer a lot more customization, but just go ahead and get one, find one, uh, find one on the Play Store, get the one that suits you the best. My personal favorite is the Nova launcher, so I'm going to run to my settings, uh, scroll down a little bit, and uh, choose home. Then I'm going to set Nova launcher as my default home. So. If you go back home there, you can see things have changed a little bit and uh, we are missing the clock widget that you saw. So basically we are on Nova Launcher right now and not the default launcher which is also known as uh, Trebuchet on mine. So the next thing I want to do is show you some of the settings that this launcher has to offer. So I'm going to uh, go to settings there and as you can see I can do a lot more things here. I can change the number of apps like I want to have on my home screen, the number of apps I want to have on my dock, how many pages I want to have on my dock and I can also add images to my dock and so on and so forth. Basically I can do a lot of customization so I'm not going to dig too much into depth uh, but I'm going to go ahead and time lapse the next part. Basically what I'm going to do is get a icons layout from my home screen. I'm just going to add some icons and uh, get a layout and organize stuff. So I'm going to time lapse it and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I'm back and as you can see I've added a few things to my home screen but it still doesn't look that great. I've also turned off icon labels because like I said I'm trying to get a minimal look. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add a custom icon pack. If you don't know what that is I'd uh, recommend you to watch one of my older videos. I'll have a link to that in the description. I talk about what according to me are the top 5 best icon packs so uh, you can also check out some of the icon packs there and decide which one you want to get. But for this video I'm going to use the main icon pack so to apply a custom icon pack I'm going to go to the settings again then go to look and feel and then uh, select the icon theme as min. So min is a minimal icon pack, uh, you may have already guessed by the name. So let's go back home now and uh, let's give it a second to refresh and boom. As you can see the icons have changed and uh, personally I like this look. It's, uh, it's a simple white, uh, white color icon pack and it's just so tiny and just uh, looks really minimal and clean in my opinion but there's still something missing it still doesn't look that great so what i'm going to do next is get a wallpaper that matches the icon pack and most of the times icon packs come with wallpapers that match the icon so for this one i'm going go i'm going to go to the main icon pack and then look for a wallpaper or actually i already have a wallpaper uh, I'm going to go to my gallery and I want to use this one as my wallpaper so I'm going to go to that and then do a set picture as and Nova wallpaper. I actually got this from Flight Light wallpapers I believe if you're wondering um, so yeah that's that and now if we go back home things look a lot better now. So the next thing I'm going to do or then that's also the last thing that I'm going to do is add a super widget you may have heard of widgets but super widget basically is an app that lets you make widgets uh, you can do uh, widgets from scratch design them the way you want but for this video i'm going to uh, go ahead and use a template so for super widget go to the play store and download it and once you have it uh, just go to your settings again and go to widgets uh, scroll down until you see super widget and choose any one of these doesn't matter which one because you can resize them later on I'm going to go with the 2x2 two two 
and uh, do that I'm going to click create then I'm going to resize it by holding on that and resize and I'm going to do that so next I'm going to click on it to start and uh, I'm going to go on built-in uh, to choose a template provided by super widget itself uh, I personally like this prop date widget it looks really cool uh, pretty minimal as well so I like that okay so uh, yeah for now I'm going to leave it that way uh, but let's send that possibly okay it's not happening because I have to scale things up a little bit but you get the idea so now as you can see my home screen looks a lot better I mean I like the way it looks right now it has a minimal look and the icon labels are turned off just everything looks so clean and uh, minimal overall so that's basically how I customize my Android home screen how I get a dope look or however you want to call it give it a crazy name whatever you want to call it uh, but again as I said personalization is purely subjective do it the way you want to I just thought I'd show you some of the apps I use to customize my Android home screen so hopefully you found this video helpful if you did then be sure to drop this video a like and subscribe if you see if you want to see more content like this uh, but that's a wrap for this one it's been Suraj from Tech Devoted thank you for watching and I will talk to you in my next one peace